In this math and life video, we're going to explore slope and linear equations in the winter. We've had a ton of snow this year and it's super fluffy. Recently, I've noticed that it's getting more and more challenging to get it to stay off the driveway and the sidewalk as I shovel. It keeps sliding back down. Hmm. Wait a minute. Look at the slope of the pile of snow. I wonder if I could write an equation for it. And then I wonder what I could do with that equation. I overlaid a grid on the picture and drew a line representing the pile of snow. I knew that the level in the photo was 24 inches long. So each box on the grid measures two inches square. Using the grid, I identified two points on the line and used them to find the slope and an equation for the line. Here's the slope formula and forms of linear equations I use to write the equation for our snow pile. If you'd like more detail on the specific process and work, check out my other videos for finding the slope and writing linear equations. Using the equation in the graph, we can find an ordered pair representing the point at the top of the pile and thus the height of the pile. That would be pretty hard to measure directly. Here's another way we could use the equation. Suppose there's eight feet between you and your neighbor's driveway. How high could the snow be piled before it would start sliding down onto one of the two driveways? I used the same equation and reflected and translated it to get this graph. Check out the ordered pair where they intersect. The y coordinate of the ordered pair is the maximum height in inches of the snow, about 52 inches. That's just scraping the surface. Math gives us a language to describe our world and give it order. What else could we do? Speaking of 52 inches, I've got to go scoop some more. Keep working hard on your math. You can do it.